Uh, just want to review the numbers uh, for today. Uh, as of today, we had 418 positive cases. That's up 97 from last week where we had 321. We have 127 active cases, and that's up 36 from 91 of last week. We have 285 cases that have recovered. That's up 59 from 226 of last week. We uh, maintained only two people in the hospital both weeks. And unfortunately, we had one additional death this week, so that brings our total deaths from four up to five. Uh, there's been over uh, rather 14,683 tests administered, and that's up from uh, last week by another 1,941. And the cases uh, have increased slightly in their prevalence. The percentage of positive cases to, to tests done increased from 2.5% to 2.84%. The Sheboygan County public health officials released the Sheboygan County Safe Restart Recommendation Plan to reopen that included strong controls for businesses and residents. We continue to be in phase two of this plan that says that businesses open, they need to follow the Economic Development Corporation's best practices and sanctions specific to their sector. The Mead Public Library this week opened up their children's department to the public uh, with limited hours. Uh, the entire uh, Mead Library is open on Monday through Fridays from 10 to 6 and uh, Saturdays 10 to 2. The Mead Library and other city buildings, including City Hall, have also instituted a mandatory mask policy to enter the buildings and masks will be provided if needed. As the COVID-19 numbers have dramatically increased, the food truck gathering that has taken place at Valrath Park and is an event where very little social distancing has been practiced in the past, and this has caused concerns. Today, I ask that no parking signs uh, have uh, were, were, uh, to be placed on Valrath uh, Boulevard and North Third Street at the food truck event. I have asked the vendors to put a plan together for how they can address the lack of social distancing at this gather to make it safer so it can come back. It was wel I was welcomed to see many of the commercial businesses in our community and around the area taking action to require masks while shoppers conduct business in their facilities. It's good to see that they recognize the role that they can play to help protect the health and well-being of the community they serve by following the evolving guidance of health officials.